Hey folks, Pastor Sean here. We've made it to the third week in our series on love, marriage, and relationships. Hopefully you found the first two weeks to be insightful and uh, really give you something to chew on, think about, and process. Well, this week we're going to dive into some even more difficult subject matter. Um, we're going to explore when sometimes we wonder if this marriage is even going to work. Uh, can I save this marriage? Is it savable? Is it worth saving? Well, I want to remind us all that uh, when we got married, we all read some vows that were probably similar to this. Check it out. I, Sean, take you, Julie, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health to love and to cherish from this day forward until death do us part. Sometimes it re reads like this. I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, and in joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support you in your goals, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you, to cry with you, and to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Now, on the wedding day, I find people um, say these words with a lot of joy, with a lot of anticipation. But uh, I think what they're really focused on is, is the joy, the good times, the, the times that they think they're going to cherish. Well, those other words are there for a reason. Because the truth is, you're going to face bad times. You're going to face those hard times. And uh, that's when your love is going to be tested. Do you truly unconditionally love your spouse. Well, what does that mean, unconditional? That's a big word we throw around. When you break that down, that means you love your spouse without any conditions. No conditions. That means whether they act like you want them to act, whether they do the things that you want them to do, whether they make the decisions that you want them to make. Okay, all those would be conditions. If you truly love somebody unconditionally, you don't get to put any of those conditions on them. And those are the hard times. Those are the bad times. Those are the rough times. Are we going to be there for each other during those times? And then sometimes in marriages, unfortunately, people can make huge mistakes. Devastating mistakes. Things get done sometimes that can never necessarily be repaired. But is there still hope? Is there still hope to move on, to go on and uh, rebuild what is there? Sometimes it takes completely tearing it down and starting all over. Sometimes it's a matter of just repairing some weaknesses in marriage. It would do us all well to evaluate our marriages. And when we get asked that tough question, is this marriage you know, something that can be saved? Um, hopefully... Somewhere in there, we could crack the door, invite Jesus in, who is the master at restoration, at building. Invite him in, and if both parties are willing, certainly there is always hope. I hope you enjoyed this third installment of our series. Have a great week.